everybody, I am back and I'm so excited to be finally doing another makeup look. It's been a while. I'm really excited to show you this back to school look. Literally takes less than 10 minutes and you can go from this to this. So um, make sure you click subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and keep watching. I don't know about you, but when I was in school, I used to wake up like 45 minutes to an hour ahead of time before I had to leave to do 30 minutes of hair and 30 minutes of makeup. But Sometimes you just don't have that kind of time. So I'm gonna show you how to do this look that I actually love. I could, would wear this any day, but you can do it in less than 10 minutes and then head off to school. Okay, so I put a 10 minute timer on my phone just to make sure. And there we go, it's getting started. And I always throw my hair up to do my makeup. Starting off with the foundation, I love the Japosnik, oh gosh, I don't know how to say it, but I found this foundation at Sephora. It's at a medium price range, around 20 bucks, but it's got great coverage and it also has buildable coverage. So if you need to do more layers to cover anything, you can absolutely do that. And then I go in and I use it as a primer for my eyes as well. Next is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eyebrow pencil. I absolutely love this pencil. I need to make sure I'm pronouncing all of these names right by the way, but I fill in my eyebrows and then I brush through again at the end. I love this pencil because it has a spoolie at one side and an eyebrow pencil at the other, so it's really easy to use. Another thing I like about this pencil is that it is angled and it's a little bit thicker at one side and thinner at the other, so it's really easy to just do exactly what you want to your eyebrows and then I brush it out at the end. Next, for the base of my eyeshadow, I'm actually just going to use my powder foundation from MAC. It's just something really easy to use. And then I'm going to go in with this Victoria Duke eyeshadow. I love it. It's all the three colors that I need in one. I use a little bit of the light and the medium color for my crease, and I blend it in with, with a crease brush all the way, pretty much covering half of the lid from the crease up a little bit, and then into the corners as well. I'm going to come in with the darker color with a smaller crease brush and just get the corners, blending it down to the lash line and then right into that crease on both sides. Next I'm going to use this Marc Jacobs eyeliner that I got for free at Sephora as a gift but you can use any good dark black eyeliner. Notice that I'm doing it kind of messy, it doesn't really matter how you do it because you're going to go back with a brush in just a moment and soften out the line. So if you make it a little messy that's totally fine. Ooh, <laughs> I'm looking a bit of a mess right now, but don't worry ladies and gentlemen, it will be cleaned up very quick, but it does kind of look messy in the middle. Um, and then I'm gonna go back over with this amazing dark felt black eyeliner. I'm just gonna go right along the lash line and then we're gonna soften that out as well. I'm not a fan of harsh lines, so even if it is a little bit messy, that's okay because we're gonna soften it out with a eyeshadow in just a moment. All right, so on this next part, I'm gonna be really zoomed in so you can see what I'm doing. I took the darkest shade from the Victoria Duke eyeshadow palette and I'm just blending it over with a small brush over that dark black line. It's gonna really soften it out, but you're still gonna get the dark defined line on the top of your eyelashes that you really want to give you a little bit of definition for your look. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of the medium and dark colors and do it underneath my lash line. I really like to use the colors in the top of my eyeshadow for the bottom as well. Next, I'm using this Ulta concealer. I found it at Ulta. It was pretty cheap, six or seven dollars, I believe, but it's super easy to apply when you're in a rush. You can just literally mark on what you want and then start blending it in. So yeah. Oh boy, look at that face. <laughs> Um, then I'm going to go back with a brush and I'm going to blend all of that in. It's pretty easy. I love this um, circular blending brush that I actually use for my foundation as well, but I go right back on top and blend in my concealer with it. Moving on to mascara, I love the Falsies mascara from Maybelline or Maybelline, however you say it. But this mascara is just super quick and easy and it always does the job for me. I don't really need to buy the expensive mascara when I have this stuff. Also, if you ever feel like your makeup is a little messed up, you can always adjust it. No worries, makeup doesn't have to be perfect. Then I go in with this setting powder. I found this powder in Italy, so I'm not quite sure if we have it here in the US, but 
any setting powder will work just so I'm not oily. Alrighty, oh my gosh, only three minutes left. Gotta hustle and finish off this look. So I go in with my bronzer from MAC. I absolutely love this bronzer, especially for a summer color. I do my forehead, my cheeks, and underneath my jawline as well. I yeah, yeah, my hair. <laughs> underneath my jawline as well, and then I go in and pinch the brush so that I can contour my nose. Then I'm going to apply this Fit Maybelline blush. I absolutely love this blush. It's a really warm yet soft color, and I actually use it to buff out the contour on my cheeks, so it all blends really well. I'm not a fan of huge, harsh lines anywhere. Okay, lips, let's do lips. I love that I checked to make sure that the lip liner was right, but the lipstick, the liquid lipstick was upside down. So I'm going to apply the Soar Lip Liner by MAC to the outside line of my lips and then kind of smudge them together a little bit and then go over with this amazing liquid lipstick from Dollop. I fell, fell in love with this lipstick and I literally wear it almost every single day. I will make sure to list the color and the name below so you guys can find it as well. Then I come in with my Studio Fix Powder. This color is C4 for my skin tone and color. And I just like to make sure that I have my full coverage, especially on any little spots that I missed that need to be covered a little more. And I also like to buff out anything left over with that. Yay, I did it, woo woo. Oh my gosh, how embarrassing, my party dance. <laughs> But yes, did it under 10 minutes, take the hair down, and this is the final look, guys. What do you think? Oh, shoot. Okay, one more quick thing. I like to line the inside upper waterline with black eyeliner, so I did that on both sides. And then you have to do a setting spray. I use this 7 setting spray. It's absolutely amazing, and I will list below where to find it. Smells good, too. Oh, my gosh, my hands look like Gumby. Okay, y'all, this is the final look. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I have actually a lot more makeup videos coming up soon. This is the first one that I've done in a while, but make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I would love to see your comments below. Would you do this look for school? Would you do this look for work? I honestly feel like I would do this look every single day. Um, I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks again for tuning in.